Welcome to NC State. You will find many proud alumni working here on campus who were once sitting exactly where you are sitting now. I am your ETD editor, Erica Cutchins. At orientation, graduation, and your thesis or dissertation probably are not at the forefront of your mind as they are the final product of your graduate career here at NC State. However, they should never be far from daily thought. With that being said, there are some things you should know about now in order to prepare to make the ETD process as smooth as possible and most importantly for you to graduate on time. ETD stands for Electronic Thesis and Dissertation. NC State is 100% electronic, meaning we do not deal with paper theses and dissertations. The submission process, the review, and final acceptance are all conducted online through NC State's very own ETD submission system. The purpose of this orientation video is to explain ETD, share what ETD does for you, and to showcase ETD resources and tools. So let's go ahead and get started, and welcome to the wonderful world of ETD. I have heard so many horror stories about submitting a dissertation, and I do not want to experience the same thing. Over my time in graduate school, I've learned to get assistance as much as possible. The resources on the ETD website are a superb tool. Further, I learned more on how to format my dissertation from the website in Erica than I did from my committee and other graduate students. Now that you know why ETD resources are so important, let's take a look at where you can find them. I'm going to navigate through the NC State University homepage. One way is to scroll to the bottom of the homepage to the Quick Links. From the Quick Links, you select Graduate School. Once on the Graduate School homepage, you go to Current Students. Below Current Students are a list of helpful links, and the second from the bottom is Electronic Theses and Dissertations. Another way to navigate to the ETD website is to simply type in ETD into the search bar at the top of the homepage. The first link that comes up takes you directly to the ETD website. And another way to navigate to the ETD website is my favorite. Just type in etd.ncsu.edu into the bar there and it takes you directly to the ETD website. Let's point out the three resources we'll discuss today. We'll be looking at the ETD guide, the deadline listings, and all available workshops. Well, I'm just starting to plan on graduating and found that this was a very good start that makes me feel more comfortable about writing and submitting my dissertation. The ETD guide is the manual that every student uses to guide them through the ETD process from start to finish. In order to graduate from NC State, the final ETD must be in our university's required format. If you have a question about anything ETD, the ETD guide should be the very first place that you check for an answer. The ETD guide contains graduate school required formatting, production requirements, required and optional sections of ETD, an overview of the ETD process, as well as multiple examples in the appendix of all required and optional sections. Next, let's discuss deadlines. While all graduate school deadlines are located on the graduate school academic calendar, I have compiled all of the ETD deadlines in one location to help you plan for your timely graduation. The deadline link provides a list of the three ETD deadlines here, deadline definitions, and then deadline dates. There are no exceptions to graduate school deadlines, so as graduate students, you are kindly reminded that you are responsible to be aware of what is required from you and to fulfill those obligations in a timely manner. I am the one person on this campus that knows ETD deadlines inside and out. 
When planning your graduation timeline, please check with me to make sure you have the correct dates and that you fully understand the meaning of each deadline. And also, when it comes to deadlines, I highly advise you not to wait until the last minute to do anything. Procrastination causes students to graduate later than they had originally planned. I feel confident in using the ETD website and the information it provides. The ETD workshop is not required for my department, but I'm glad I attended and would highly recommend the in-person workshop to fellow grad students. I have noticed an extreme difference in ETD files between a student who attends an ETD workshop and a student who does not attend a workshop. Make your life easier and attend the free short workshop. Master students should attend at the end of their first year and doctoral students should attend after they have passed their preliminary exam. In the ETD workshop you'll learn about everything ETD. I cover all the resources and tools that are available to students, staff, and faculty. In the ETD workshop, that is the best time to get clarification on graduate school formatting requirements, the process, and any other questions that you may have. Many students have shared with me that they have found it extremely helpful to hear questions that other students have asked during the ETD workshop. It is best to sign up to attend the ETD workshop before you start writing your thesis or dissertation. To sign up for the ETD workshop, you have a choice here between an online ETD workshop or the in-person ETD workshop. They have the both the same content, but you get to choose the method of delivery that is most convenient for you and your schedule. The online ETD workshops are available 24-7, 365. And those are the highlights from the ETD website. Please keep these resources in mind as you work towards completing your thesis or dissertation. There are also other helpful links here that you will find very helpful, including our ETD templates, frequently asked questions and technical help, and the actual ETD submission system. So please peruse all of these links at your convenience. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you at an upcoming ETD workshop. If you have any questions about the ETD process or what the graduate school requires, please feel free to contact me at any time and whichever method is most convenient for you, in person, email, or the phone. The founder of Girl Scouts, Julia Gordon Lowe, said, the work of today is the history of tomorrow and we are its makers. I wish you the best of luck making history here at NC State University.